I should say I'm in Ragusa, Sicily, if you don't know. Oh my gosh, how beautiful is that? Beautiful. There's a waterfall in the background. I hope you can hear me okay. I'm going to try to talk louder, but I'm not very good at talking loud, mostly. Uh, you guys have created a monster. Two people told me they liked the video, and now all of a sudden I'm a vlogger and an influencer, and I'm trying to get likes and clicks, and I'm, I'm really hoping to get advertised funding so I can uh, keep traveling and... I, I hope you don't believe any of that because it's all nonsense. It's not my goal in life to uh, have any audience. I am a sharer from my youth. I was, when I was 10 years old, my grandmother came out to Chicago where we lived for two years, our family. And I was sitting in the back seat and my mom was driving and I was like, Oh, what can I tell my grandma? What can I tell her? What can I tell her? We were going through a stoplight, and I remembered something my mom had told me, and I said, Grandma, the yellow lights are much shorter here than in California. And my mom says, Oh, honey, I don't think she'd notice that when she's driving. And I was like, oh, deflated. What else can I tell Grandma? In 2008, I had eye surgery. In one of my eyes, they implanted this little spigot, I call it, to drain the fluid from my eye because I have quite advanced glaucoma and it saves my vision to have less pressure. And after the surgery, I was still a little bit groggy, but I was in a, like a recovery waiting room um, with a big patch on my eye. And then a, an older woman came in, like 80s, because most of the people that have glaucoma are 80s. And she was with her two, her two adult kids, and they were obviously really irritated by what she was doing, and that they had to be there and miss work for grandma's glaucoma surgery. My God, it's traumatic. And as I was sitting there feeling really groggy and rocked and unsettled, I was just like, you know, only seeing out of one eye, just out of surgery. I really almost said to these people, how much, like what a privilege it would be for me to be able to be irritated by my mother right now. Because my mother had just died two weeks prior to that. And I didn't say anything, and I'm, it doesn't matter whether I said something or not, but I, I remember what a, what a significant time it was for me because I could see it from the other side of not having your grand, your mother to be irritated by. And these guys just being irritated. And they just didn't, you know, we came from completely different perspectives. And I thought, you need to, you need to appreciate what you have right now because you don't know how long it lasts. And there'll come a day when you would wish that thing you complained about, you would wish you had that. You know, you run a mile and it takes you longer than it used to and you're so mad about it. And you're like, one day you will be happy if you will wish you could even walk a mile. Because you're going to be in bed, bedridden because if you get old enough, that's going to happen. Many things to be appreciative of. And I wanted to say on this, on this topic that that uh, with so many people dying now and so many people suffering as a result of that, that it's not just painful, it's not only a tragedy, and it's not also only love, even though it can be so full of love. And I hope for most people that they can get to this place where they both appreciate when they're still alive, the people that they're going to lose, recognize that it's a natural process no matter how painful that is. There will come a time when, you're, when your loved one will pass, as you will pass, as everything else passes. But really appreciate that it's a special moment when you're alive 
regardless of when you're alive, regardless on a boring day, on an exciting day, and oh, it's the best day of my life, oh, it's the worst day of my life. Be glad you have a life and appreciate that for, for what it is. Am I telling a coherent story? I'm not sure that I am. But what I am sure of, I'm done for now. And maybe I post this. Okay. Nice to chat. Bye. How long before I get in? Before it starts, before I begin How long before you decide Before I know what it feels like